Throughout the history of time, many different mythical and mysterious creatures have been talked about and argued on whether or not they are indeed real or not. Some have remained a mystery, others have actually been proven to be real, while others we already know are real but just wish they weren't really around in the first place. Whichever one they fall under, it makes for one heck of an interesting conversation. Which is why I'm bringing you this fun list today. Hey everyone, Dewey Stewart back and ready to give you quite the interesting list today. Some of these creatures are indeed real and others are up for discussions, but either way, I'm going to want to know what you think down in the comments. So get ready and let's see some crazy stuff in our top 10 mysterious creatures that shouldn't exist. Starting us off at number 10, we have the jackalope. Ever hear of a jackalope? If you haven't, this creature is basically just a small bunny rabbit with antlers growing out of its head. While these creatures were created by joking taxidermists, many residents of the Midwest actually believe that this creature is real. And you know what? They might actually not be wrong either. In June of 2020, Smithsonian Mammal Collection manager Suzanne Pirac came across what looked to be a jackalope in the specimens collection. At first she just thought it to be fake, but upon closer inspection, she found out that the creature was indeed real and not actually the work of some joking taxidermist. They technically weren't horns though in its head. They were actually cutaneous horns slash tumors. These growths are caused by the Shope papillomavirus, which caused cottontail rabbit papillomavirus, also known as CRPV. The human equivalent is HPV, but our recent HPV vaccine actually derived from the CRPV. So thanks tumorous rabbit or uh, the jackalope. I I guess you are real. At number 9 we have Japanese spider crabs. These massive crabs crawl along the bottom of our waters and can get up to 12 feet in length. They can also reach weights of up to 45 pounds. Apparently these massive creatures are actually quite gentle but let me tell you, <laughs> for a guy that really enjoys his crab, I'm not sure how much I like this one. I think once it was cooked and on my plate, I mean I think I'd be fairly happy because I mean look at the size of that thing, that's a lot of crab leg. But if I were to come across one by myself in the ocean, I would probably be swimming away pretty fast because these things look freaking creepy. I mean, you're telling me this thing is friendly and you're not going to come at me with those giant claws? Yeah, okay, cool. I believe you. Not. Number eight, we have one of my faves. Folks at home, what are the two things we know Dewey hates the most on this channel? Dolls and that's right, let's say it together, cockroaches. Yeah, once again we have cockroaches, but not just any kind of cockroaches, hissing cockroaches. These guys can be found just about anywhere in the world, which is great. They can be found in any warm areas of buildings, near the moist baseboards and basements. And these guys are even worse than the cockroaches I notoriously hate because not only are they just hard to get rid of, they they also hiss loudly at you too. Hell to the freaking nah! These gross bugs are mysterious as sometimes they can hide quite well. And I think it's pretty obvious here that I definitely wish they didn't exist. But here they are anyway, aren't they? <laughs> oh, what a time to be alive. At number seven, we have the scorpion fly. I have never heard of this one before, but after seeing a picture of one, I don't think I want to learn any more about them than what I have to. Anyway, while they may not be poisonous like their land cousin, the scorpion, they still are not great to look at. Turns out the tail is actually used for mating and is not a stinger at all, but that being said, I still don't trust that, okay? And you know what, that's all the juicy stuff I have on this one. I'm just really not a fan of these creepy bugs, let alone any bugs, so this one goes hand in hand with the roaches. Get the hell out of here. At number six, we have the infamous rattlesnake. What makes this guy so mysterious? Well, most of the time, we won't realize one's anywhere close to you until it's too late. These crazy quick snakes strike fast and hard, and the only warning it will give you is the sound of it shaking its rattler tail, meaning you are in for some big trouble. These snakes can be found almost any Anywhere nowadays, even as far as north as Canada, even where I live. I know back home the government released six of them in our county to help with our wild turkey problem, which was great because, you know, now we got rid of our wild turkey problem and now what do we have? A rattlesnake problem. What a smart idea. Coming in at our halfway point at number five, we have the infamous giant squid. For centuries, these crazy large creatures were said to be legend and creatures of most likely myth. Stories of ships being swallowed by giant squid like creatures and attacks from these creatures were popular for years. Then suddenly, scientists actually found one. They found giant squid just off the Okasawara Islands in Japan. The giant squid they caught measured 24 feet long or 7 meters long and it finally proved the existence of these massive creatures that people have been talking about for centuries. That's crazy! These creatures can even grow up to 30 feet in length and humans have become obsessed with them after their discovery. I mean, I get it. Like I've said it before, I was once obsessed with the Loch Ness Monster and if that was proven real, then I would be even more obsessed with it. So if I never get to see my Nessie at least, I get my giant squid. 
it. And speaking of Nessie, at number four we have the Plesiosaurus. That's right, for those of you that aren't as aware of the Loch Ness Monster lore as I am, one of the creatures that many believe to be the Loch Ness Monster is the prehistoric creature called the Plesiosaurus. Now this is another creature that has sightings that date back centuries, all the way back to when St. Columba sailed the loch and demanded the beast to go back to its underwater dwellings. Now this one has no real proof aside from just what the lore and the sightings have told us over the years, but there is one theory. Back before the Ice Age, the loch was connected to the ocean and the Plesiosaurus would actually come to the loch and lay eggs and mate. Some believe that some of these creatures and eggs could have survived the Ice Age and continue to survive living off the plentiful sturgeon that also call the Loch Ness home. Whether it's real or not, these prehistoric creatures shouldn't exist, but Nessie, whatever you are, I'm glad you exist. At number three, we have the Stymphalian birds. We all know the great Disney character of Hercules, but did we know he was actually based on a supposedly real muscle man? One of the labors of Hercules was that he had to kill the Stymphalian birds, giant man-eating birds who also threw their feces. Gross. But scientists today actually claim that these birds did in fact exist. They were actually the host eagle and this bird stood over six feet tall and had a wingspan of over eight feet wide. These birds would sit atop trees and would swoop in at 60 miles per hour to catch its prey. They would then disembowel its prey right after. Ouch. <laughs> Apparently it was no match for Hercules, but I doubt if he is real that he actually beat the giant bird, because I mean, come on, buddy. Lucky for us though, these birds went extinct around the 15th century, so <laughs> you know, we're fine for now, but keep an eye out. At number two, we have the Chupacabra. The Chupacabra was first spotted in the 1970s in Puerto Rico. Then tons of sightings occurred in the 1990s, with many finding local animals and livestock to be horribly mutilated and drained of blood. Many descriptions of this possibly fictional beast have varied, but the common descriptors have been a hairless, alien-like monster with spikes going down its back and with glowing red eyes. But scientists have a theory of what this creature actually is. They think it could actually just be coyotes suffering from sarcoptic mange, which is an inflammatory skin condition caused by an itch-inducing parasitic mite. And while these infected wolves or coyotes usually just go for the hunt, they can be led to go for the easier kill, which is livestock. Once again, no matter what the chupacabra actually is, it is wicked scary sounding and I ain't sure I want to go anywhere near this one for a sighting because I like my blood inside my body. And finally, coming in at our number one spot is Big Daddy Bigfoot. We all know Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Abominable Snowman, Yeti, whatever you want to call him. Stories of large man-like creatures living in the deep wooded areas of the world have been told for years. Some have recorded giant footprints with some of them turning out to be a hoax, while others are still relatively unexplained. One of the best pieces of possible evidence is the Patterson-Gimlin footage that was taken in 1967 near Bluff Creek in North California. To this day, this footage is still highly debated over and many no longer know what to believe. Do we live with giant monsters hiding away from us? Is Bigfoot an alien? Is it just an unknown species? Or is it just one hairy man who is walking all over the freaking place? Either way, this is one mysterious creature that shouldn't exist, but very well might. There you have it. That has been our top 10 list of mysterious creatures that shouldn't exist. What did you think? Do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? Have any of you guys have any other different theories out there of what they could be? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to keep smashing those like and subscribe buttons. I've been your host Dewey Stewart. I will see you all back here very soon and bye bye